Hello, it's Salime. So we all know the proper way to park the car with its full safety. When the car is stationary, put the gear shifter on neutral position and then pull the handbrake. But what if the car still moves when you let your feet off the brake pedal? Then you have to pull the handbrake more to stop the car. So in today's video, we will fix that problem and adjust parking brake. Alright, first we're gonna start with blocking front tire from rear and front and then we're gonna loosen up the lug nuts while the wheel is still on the ground. But make sure the car been sitting for a while so we can work on cooled wheels. Now I will put the car on jack and jack stand. But if you don't have a jack and jack stand, you can use your car's jack and do each side at a time. But here I will do both sides at the same time while the car is still on the jack stand. Now I can lower the car on a jack stand, but I will still keep the jack under the car for extra safety. Push the car sideways, it should be stable and not wobbly. Now we know the car safely on a jack stand. Next let's lower the handbrake, we don't need it anyway, and then remove the wheels. Sometimes the wheel gets stuck like this, you just need to give it few push and then it comes off. One of the best safety tips when you're removing the wheels, always place the wheel under the car in case if the jack stand fails. Now if you look at this, it tells us the brake shoes far from brake drum and let it spin freely. But the brake shoes should be slightly touching the brake drum, it should be like this. It still turns, but we can hear the brake shoes sound touching the brake drum. So after removing the wheel and using WD-40 on these places, I'm gonna use a 12mm bolt and screw it here. It will pop up the drum without needing to use any hammer. So the first thing we should be checking is the brake shoes. If your brake shoes less than 3mm, you should replace it before adjusting. But for now mine more than that, so we're gonna clean it and then adjust it. We have so much brake dust and road grime here, I always clean it before adjusting. I previously made a video how to clean brake drum with brake cleaner and dish soap. I will make sure to put the video link in the video description box below and YouTube card if you wanna check it out. Which way is the best way to clean it? Now it's all nice and clean. Next we're gonna adjust it from the back. But first let's put the drum back on and then adjust it. Okay next we're gonna remove this rubber cap and then adjust it with the same flat screwdriver. You basically just rotating this. This is how it looks like from inside. It's better to check the brake rotation with every click. It should rotate with minimum resistance and the brake shoes sound touching the brake drum. Next we're gonna put the rubber cap back on and then we are done here. One of the biggest mistakes people do when adjusting brake shoes, they don't adjust it from brake shoes itself, they adjust it from parking brake cable and this will continuously put attention on a brake cable and damage it in a long term. The factory manual recommends to have 0.25 to 0.50 gaps between the brake shoes and the brake drum. This is when the brake handle disengages and there is no tension on the parking brake cable. So I quickly did the other side as well. If you count how many clicks you adjusted one side, the other side will need the same adjustment because both have same brake shoes wearing. Okay now we are almost done, we gonna put the wheels back and then lower the car. Before lowering the car, make sure the parking brake engage it before lowering the wheel on the ground. Next we gonna torque the wheels and then we are done. Alright let's give it a test. And if you wanna know that you adjusted both sides like same, engage the parking brake and drive. It should lock the wheels and drag them like this. And that is how to clean and adjust parking brake. Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.